Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over IQST, uh, their shareholder letter that they released yesterday, April 16th, 2021. So just to reiterate, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. So I'm going to read through this, break down the charts, and let you know my thoughts moving forward with this particular stock. If you haven't seen the stock video kind of explaining what this company does, it's appearing right now in the top right corner. Go ahead and take a look at it after you watch this video. So it says, Dear Shareholders, we would like to thank everyone for communications with the company, reflecting their support and encouragement of IQSTL's continuous business plan growth. It's important to remark that uh, 2020 was an amazing year, setting the foundation for future growth. Of course, 2020 and Q1 of 2021, we established four business divisions, telecommunications, technology, fintech, and blockchain. The wide portfolio of products makes us a one-stop shop for telecom and tech services. Even though our services are spread across seven subsidiaries, we are organized to offer our customers one unified, singular, and viable, valuable customer experience. We have initiated a move to consolidate our telecom division under one brand name, IQS Telecom to optimize our marketing and at the same time make our back office operations more efficient, thus increasing our EBITDA. Toward the end of 2020, we implemented a plan to eliminate debt. As of Q1 2021, we are a debt-free company with no convertible notes, warrants, or settlements. This major milestone frees us to invest all available funds from our operations and Regulation A offering and strengthening our balance sheet and growing the company. Therefore, we expect to see improvement in our consolidated statement of operations and balance sheet through 2021. All these activities summarized herein to include the implementation of a wider portfolio of products and elimination of the debt put us well on track to achieve our uplisting objective. So if you don't know what that means, they're trying to get listed up to the NASDAQ. Look for additional news coming soon announcing that the next and final steps are leading up to our uplisting. As we improve operational efficiencies in uh, 2021, management intends at the same time to accelerate our ongoing M&A campaign to extend functional and geographical reach to add additional revenue that may contribute to our potential, potentially exceeding the 2021 $60.5 million revenue forecast. Okay, <laughs> are you kidding? They're talking about possibly exceeding that amount. That's, that's wild. Um, 2020 10K summary. The audit of the consolidated financial statements of 2020 was successfully completed, and the audited consolidation financial statements are available to the public in the 10K published on April 15th, 2021. Uh, if you don't know where to find it, I'm going to link that in the description below. You can go on the SEC website and uh, find those forms. Uh, even though the 2020 year was marked by the COVID 19 pandemic, with the closure of companies and countries completely paralyzed, IQSTL was able to advance in the development of the plan, reaching $44.9 million audited revenue for 2020 versus $18 million for 2018, representing an increase of 149%. We've reduced the loss per share to 10 cents in 2020 versus 35 cents in 2019, a significant reduction of 70%. The company increased its assets to 5.9 million in 2020 versus 5.6 million in 2019, basically driven by the increase in the cash position. We reduced the liabilities of 8.3 million in 2020 from 11.3 million in 2019. Overall, the sales have increased by 149%, reducing the loss per share by 70%, with an increase in current assets of 1.04%. This was accomplished while reducing the current liabilities by 29% year over year and total liabilities by 27%. In 2021, Q1 anticipates achievements to be published in the 10Q by May 14th. Okay, so put that on your calendar, guys. May 14th is uh, their Q1 earnings um, for, the, uh, for this year, May 14th. The elimination of all convertible notes, warrants, and settlements making them a debt-free company. This will save around $3 million in debt service. The company will 
be able to invest in strengthening the balance sheet and growing the company. A strengthened balance sheet with the increased assets and reduced liabilities, revenue progressed on track towards 60 and a half million annual revenue forecast, the consolidation of telecommunications operations under one brand, the mem memorialized recognition of our lot breakthrough award of our lot smart gas technology, 2021 Q2 plans, the commercial launch of N MNPA blockchain platform in April. The first stage field test is set to be in April. The first production of the new technology for Fortune 500 chemical client by May or June. The launch of our FinTech Visa debit card produ product Visa Money One by June. The first financial results from the implementation of operation efficiencies. The execution of our next plan step uh, step to uplist in April and May. So that's this month, guys, and in the next two months, okay? They're going to work on getting uplisted to the NASDAQ. The first progress from our M&A campaign, continued revenue progress on track towards our $60.5 million revenue objective, new and improved communication channels with our shareholders and ambassadors, increased social media presence, and an enhanced website with a new Meet Us feature, we genuinely appreciate and respect our shareholder support. Please sure to be sure to be join our ambassador program for direct contact with our other long-standing shareholders and support as well. Feel free to email call <clears throat> call us for direct communication with our top-notch investor relations team. All found on our website, and then it goes to sign, you know respectfully yours and the president signs the bottom of the note. So, whoa. <laughs> okay, so this is all great stuff right here, guys. Um, so it goes on to talk about, you know, and like I said, if you haven't seen that video, I've already kind of broke down the company for you. So you want to take a look at that if you're not familiar with this company. Uh, let's look at the charts and then I'll kind of tell you my plan moving forward with this stock. All right, guys. So if you watched our first video on IQST, I told you I was going to start my position at about a dollar. And I, I did think that it was going to dip some more. And I was going to wait and get the rest of my position later. So I'm glad I did. I got about 50 shares to start just to get in the position just in case it ran up. I wanted to actually have some skin in the game, right? I did buy some more this past week, uh, just about 50 shares because I wanted to kind of continue to nibble as it continues to go down because we are currently right now trading under that SMA line, which usually signals a downtrend okay and as you see we've been continuously going down and we're currently trading somewhere in uh let's see at about 63 cents which right now is a steal okay an absolute steal so uh, your current support is going to be about 47 and a half cents your resistance is going to be roughly about 80 cents all right so my plan is to uh, load more here Okay, in this channel, especially if it falls down closer to that 47 cent range, which I don't think it will, to be honest with you. I think based on the charts right here, we are undervalued. And based on that shareholder letter that just came out, I think that's going to send us to the upside, at least temporarily on Monday. And then again, I could be wrong because it came out about noon uh, on Friday. And... Um, you know, it, we still <laughs> came down, but the whole market's kind of in sort of a little, um, you know, a little, a little tizzy right now, I guess is kind of throwing a fit and going down. So um, I'm just looking at this as an opportunity to buy. Okay. So I'll be loading more on Monday here. And then if it falls down below uh, closer to this 50 cent level, then I'm going to load a lot more here. All right. So what my plans are is whatever you know cash I have available, I'm going to continue just to kind of nibble and build up my position. There are a couple of plays that aren't producing very well right now, in, uh, and I'm kind of a little nervous about in my portfolio that I may actually go ahead and cut tides with and transition into this stock. But I'll let you know more about that on the Sunday stock pick video. So if you aren't in this position in this play yet, now is not a bad time to start your position and grab some. And I would just watch how it reacts on Monday. Okay, keep in mind if we do see a potential, 
you know uptick to about 80 cents if it busts through 80 cents then you know that's a good sign that we're back and we're going to break trend and go above if we go above 87 cents and hold then we've confirmed the uptrend but just keep in mind even a, a, a little small spike monday morning don't chase it because if it holds about that 80 cents most likely it's going to come back down and you know potentially test that 47 cent mark and possibly uh, we, we want to see where it's going to consolidate at basic where's it going to kind of just go back and forth and trade sideways for a day two three days a week before we see exactly what's going to happen okay the fact that it's continuously just coming down uh, it's that's why I'm not buying a whole lot all at once because you don't want to be catching a falling knife all right guys that's all I have for you in this video make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video and if you enjoy our content of course subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell that way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content other than that guys we'll catch you in the next video